I officially welcome you to this session of our training. Here we are going to be learning how to start and earn in six figure doing exportation business. I'm going to be sharing with you secrets a lot of people do not know about exports. The gold in exports um, business that many people do not know about. So I know you want to meet me. You want to meet this voice that is speaking to you. So you can see my picture on your screen right now. But before we proceed, please, you want to pay rapt attention and you may want to put on earpiece in case you are in a noisy environment and so that you can hear me clearly. And you may want to get pen and paper to jot down a few points. Okay, so if you've done all that, you can now pay rapt attention and we can proceed. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are going to be sharing a lot of opportunities across the export value chain. So now, I know you want to meet me. My name is Kamalu Joy Ngozi. I'm the lady in the picture you're seeing. I'm a mother of three amazing children. I own a Facebook group with over 20,000 members named Nigeria Agro Food Stuff Market. As a matter of fact, as we I'm recording this video, it's over 28,000 members, right? I trade majorly on soya bean, maize, sesame, ginger, palm, kernel nuts, cashew not to mention but a few i also sell in places like walmart african shop my major market as a matter of fact is african shops abroad in us uk and canada yeah so i have trained over two thousand people in export business i am passionate about teaching people this business and how to make money from it the truth is a lot of people don't know how to export they don't know how to get buyers they don't know how to source for this product they don't know how to receive payment they don't know how to ship they do not know a lot some have tried it but because they are inexperienced they got burnt okay so i am passionate to teach people how to start and scale a profitable export business so that you too can make your money in pounds, in dollar, in foreign currency. I mean, you know the exchange rate of dollar to naira, naira to pounds. Yeah, so it actually makes sense when you are earning in foreign currency. And I'm going to be sharing a few tips that would help you. Yeah. So by the end of this webinar, you'll be learning the wealth that can be harnessed from export business. Export is a gold mine. Hmm. Export is a gold mine. And the value chain, export value chain is wide, is long, right? So a lot of us want to export, but we don't know whether we should start with large scale or we, in small scale or um, to be supplying African shops or to be doing personal shopping, shopping from, for Nigerians abroad or to be supplying factories, companies, warehouses abroad that need raw commodities right as we proceed in this training i'll be sharing a few tips so that you can know which of the export markets you want to sell which of the export markets you are capable of selling to now i will simplify exportation and local food supply so every participant can be able to export individually and do local supply so for some of us who may be attending my mentorship program you may not be exporting but you can decide to be a local supplier of grains of palm oil crude um, um raw materials solid minerals gemstones to companies and factories that buy it in bulk for export purposes okay that's why i said the exports value chain is long some of us may be selling locally to major exporters who buy in thousands of metric ton some of us can decide to be selling to olam floor mill nestle and co kellogg's right in large quantity okay locally some may decide okay you see this dollar you see this pound it actually makes sense some may decide to export some may even decide to become clearing and forwarding agents some may decide to be export brokers so in my mentorship program i try to explain the entire value chain so that you can see which one will be easy for you which one you can start which one you will pay you more okay so i'll be also be teaching you the requirement for exportation a lot of us don't know that you can start from somewhere like as a newbie you don't have documents you can start exporting even without documents as a personal shoppers for nigerians africans asians people living abroad you don't always need documents okay so i'll be sharing with you the requirement for exportation and i'll be sharing with you some 
uh, you know, you will learn about the items you can start exporting, be it clothes, shoes, bags, to mention but a few. So it mustn't be full stuff. Hair is in high demand. If you go through my page on Facebook or on Instagram, you see where I posted the hairs I shipped in large quantities, supplying to a fa uh, sorry, a hairstylist in Toronto. The demand is huge. The demand is, is a lot. Beads, your handicrafts, you can export food. Food can never get saturated. You can be supplying shops and stores. Okay, full stuff. It will never get saturated. As far as human being eats every day, you can sell and export. But you need to know how to get these buyers. You need to know how to do the pricing. You need to know how to ship. You need to know the best method for shipping. And that's why we are here. And I'll also be sharing with you other ways to make money from export business. Like I said, the export value chain is long, is wide, is big, and you can end in different stages. My mentorship program is going to be demystifying the various things, how you can earn as a service exporter, rendering services that exporters need. Okay. So why should you listen to Kamalu Joy Ngozi? Why should you listen to this lady? Well, I have over five years experience in export business on both small and large scale exports. You know, for so long, I've wanted to export so long i attended several trainings theory i could not practicalize eventually my my breakthrough came in 2018 when i did my first export on a small scale around them um, 500 kg to a store in us luckily for me they loved our products they loved our products so much that they had to place so after my after my first export to that particular store, they saw my product. They loved the quality. They were so particular about that quality. And they placed more order for more. And people who consumed my product started calling me. I started getting more customers, getting more referrals. And the rest, they say, is history. I've been able to consistently export every week, every month, and often do container load of processed products to different countries and even raw commodities to different countries. But my target market is shop owners, store owners, warehouses in US, UK, and Canada. And very recently, I teamed up with someone in Birmingham to own a store. So I currently co-own a store in Birmingham, new, um, in UK. Right. So I currently export to over 12 African stores in USA every month. I also currently export to three African stores in UK and one pharmaceutical store in Vietnam. So in Vietnam, I supply um bitter cola to those Vietnamese um um what's it called company that produce um drugs. Okay. And right now I co-own a store in UK. And no, it did not happen on a platter of gold. It took me years over five years of consistently consistency of hard work to actually get to where i am today i am my mentee currently export and ship every 48 days to usc right as group exports okay so the next thing i want to share with us is the next thing i want to share with you oh. One of the reasons why it is difficult to people for people to start export business is because the difficulty in getting buyers. In fact, if you ask an average person listening to me right now, they will tell you that they don't know how to get buyers. And I mean, without buyers, you cannot sell, right? So I'm going to be sharing a few tips on how you can get buyers. And also in my mentorship program, I'm going to be going all out to teach you the strategy that has worked for me that I can now do personal shopping or if I want to do um, large scale export to any country of my choice today, I, I know where to find the buyers. I know where to get buyers. I know how to source for fun. I know how to raise funds. Okay. So difficult in getting buyers is a lot of challenge for a lot of persons here today. So the training is going to be simplifying the processes of how you can get buyers whether on a small scale whether on a large scale whether you're into gemstones solid minerals crude oil uh, food stuff um fashion items cereals for children hair skincare products this training my mentorship program is going to be showing you how you can get buyers for any product 
okay so lack of understanding of the export market process is another difficulty okay a lot of people don't understand how the export market process work they don't know how to source they don't know how to brand they don't know the documentation involved they don't know how to package themselves for exports they don't know which product is contraband they don't know the payment terms the payment uh, method the time to send quotation the terms in the quotation they don't know the exports in court terms they don't know a lot of things and because of that, they cannot export. And you know, a business you don't know, you are most likely not going to delve into it. And even if you delve with, delve into it as a newbie who does not understand the export process, you it may not go well as planned. Okay. Another reason why it's difficult for people to export is they don't know the shipping process, the documentation, the right shipping company, how to contact the shipping company. They don't know how to... Uh, pick up container if they want to do last scale export, when to use clearing and forwarding agents, or if they want to do small exports, scale exports, the shipping procedure and all of that. So as we delve in, in the mentorship program, it will be clear, you'll be taught how to go about it. Another challenge is lack of finance in executing deals. You see people secure large, large scale export deals or large contracts. Finance will now kill the whole the whole dream of making millions, you know, because of finance, right? So, but if you know how to go about it, trust me, a lot of banks are looking for real exporters with export contract that has letter of credit with safe payment terms to finance. See, if you secure contracts, it's bankers that'll be looking for you as far as the terms of the terms of payments is um okay they go through the contract and the terms of payment and is okay they can finance it for you there are many ways to raise money for export business but a lot of people are ignorant they don't know right and difficulty in fixing prices some people don't know how to fix price because the price is sold there is different from the price this product sells here. So how do you fix price? How do you know the international market price for your product? How do you know when to give wholesale price? How do you know when to price in dollar or pounds to convert the exchange rate? How do you know whether you have to use the bank rate or the black market rate to, to, to give them, um, um, what's it called, price to your customer? A lot don't know. A lot of them don't know where to start from when it comes to giving price. Some we see buyers and buyers will say, okay, give me price. Wahala don't start because they don't even know how to calculate their profit, how to fix, um, what's it called, price for their products, okay? Now, what is export business? What is export business? We already know what export business means. It means when you sell your goods and services to another country in exchange for foreign currency, you are in Nigeria, you carry our palm kernel shell, our shea butter, our palm oil, our gari, our lithium, our iron ore, our um, iro and boba clothes, and you sell to those that are based in Australia. You sell to those that are based in Ireland, Netherlands, Germany, Italy. Once you do that, right, you have exported, of course, when you sell to those people abroad, they pay you in dollar, they pay in euro, they pay in pound. Depending on the country, you earn in foreign currency. It's called export business, right? As far as you are exporting outside Nigeria, whether it's Kotonu, whether it's from Nigeria to Ghana, Nigeria to Chad, Nigeria to Cameroon, as far as it's leaving Nigeria, you have done what? You've done exports. Okay? So... We have two types of exports. We have formal exports and informal exports. Formal export is when you ship through sea, right? You ship through sea, you do all the necessary documentation, you follow the right channels, okay? You do your documentation, you open an export proceed account that your buyer will pay you through. You have an NEPC license. When you get to the port, you do all the documentation at the ports, the clean certificate of inspection, the neroli, the um, phytosanitary fumigation, all the necessary documents at the ports, certificate of origin from Nasima, all the necessary documentation from the Nigerian Port Authority or what have you, and government keep track record of the exports. You hear 
um, they announced that we did 30 billion or 30 trillion dollars export out of Nigeria. How do you think they get those data? It is through formal export. So once you are shipping through sea, you are shipping in container, and you do all necessary documentation at the point of shipping, it is called what? It is called formal exports. I know a lot of us here want to do formal exports. <laughs> we want to ship in containers. We want to ship 40 feet. We want to ship 30, 40 feet container. You go reach everybody. You will get to that stage. Life is a gradual process, right? Rome was not built in a day. You will do it. But you have to start from somewhere. You have to start small. You have to learn the ropes. As newbies, you're bound to make mistakes. So it's better to start small, which brings us to the second type of exports, which is called informal exports. Now, informal exports is when you export through air or even through sea okay without documentation so for a lot of us who don't have a registered business who don't have a corporate account who don't have um, export license um fda and basic export documents and we want to export we want to start from somewhere we want to do this business we to want chop um, from foreign currency one chop dollar one made dollar and pounds enter our account right how do you start? This is where informal export comes in. You don't need documents to do informal exports. When you're a personal shopper and you shop for people abroad, all you need to do is take your goods to the shipping company. Shipping company use their documents to ship for you and your buyer will receive it. I'm sure some of us, we send goods to our family and friends abroad. We don't have documents. It is called informal exports. It's just that you don't know how to monetize it. You don't know how to get buyers that will be paying you. You don't know how to gather Nigerians in New Jersey, gather Nigerians in Atlanta that you'll be shopping for every week, every month in bulk. A lot of us don't know how to do it, and that's why we are here. Okay, so I'll be sharing with you how you can start, how me I started, even all these African shops, so you can supply them in bulk without documentation, without branding your product. You see, when at the point you start branding products, that's when a lot of documentation comes. You need FJ, you need Hala, you need, but when you are not branding this product, you can supply these shops in bulk and they can rebrand. You can even package for them in one, one kg, two, two kg, up to a thousand, two thousand pieces. And when it gets there, they will repackage by themselves. Sorry, they will rebrand, put their, their labeling and sticker and whatever certification they have. Okay. So even the first export I said I did. It was all branded now. They told me that Joy, 1-1 one, one kg packet, package for me, 2-2 two, two kg of uh, a Lubo, 1-1 one, one kg of uh, this, this one, 1-1 one, one They told me I packaged in Ziploc nicely. No brand. When it got there, they used their label and put on it. And they paid me my, in fact, they paid me my money. <laughs> they paid me my money before the goods left to personal shopping. So, once you you export without document it is called what informal export for some people that will get orders and those customers will say okay oh, we want you to ship through c for us it is cheaper you can do what we call group page or consolidation there are some c shipping companies that will gather different goods of people this one will bring 100 kg the other one will bring 200 kg this one will bring 300 kg they'll gather it gather it till they fill up a 20 feet container and they will ship it to that particular destination with their 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 what's it called their document. So at that point, where the sea shipping company will use their document to ship for you, and you bring your goods. As far as if you don't have documents, they ship for you. It is still called informal exports. I hope we are clear, right? So, um, basic requirement for export business, and these basic requirements. My area of focus is for those who want to just start somewhere. Most people who want to start from informal exports, supplying shops, supplying African stores, warehouses, on branded products in large quantity, or supplying person as a personal shopper to Africans or Nigerians living in different country and they pay them upfront. This is actually for you. And you don't need documents, okay? So the basic requirement for export business, one, 
his phone with access to internet. Of course, for you to be even listening to me right now is because you have access to internet. So, I mean, you are here, your buyer is over there, the people you are targeting, they are out there, they are outside the country. I used to tell people, me, I sell food stuff, I sell a lot of things. But my target market no be Nigeria. Me, I love dollar. I love pounds. My target market is those abroad. Okay? So, how do I reach them? With my phone and with my internet. My internet is the transport that takes me to meet my customers abroad. So, if you have a phone and you have access to internet and you are hearing me right now, or more, clap for yourself. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, I mean, with, with what you have now, I'll be sharing with you in my mentorship program how you can use your phone and internet to get any type of bias you want, okay? So, domiciliary accounts, yeah? Okay, you need a domiciliary account. Domiciliary account is an account that you can be paid in dollar pounds or euro okay it's like you want to earn in foreign currency you must have a domiciliary account i know gt they run a zero dollar account if i'm not mistaken so i had so you can try them open a domiciliary account if you don't have a registered business you can open in your in your name but if you have a registered business please open a domiciliary account in your business name another basic requirement is that you need to understand the main export process you need to know when to source how to package how to ship how to receive buyers how to um, give quotation when to send proposal okay how to sign contracts and when to give your lawyers to go through the contract before you sign you need to know all the details um regarding export contracts export inco terms you know you need to know a whole lot of things when it comes to performance bond a lot of people don't understand this okay so you need to understand it and that's why people like us are here to simplify the whole process and then you need to be determined and desire to make it work export is not a work in the park it's like every other business you need to dedicate time you need to build it okay you need to be determined to make it work like i was saying earlier on it took me years to get here <laughs> It took me years of consistency and hard work. A lot of persons that we started, like we learned the training, most of them could not continue, right? But here I am today. I I, I now currently own a store, okay, co-own a store in UK. Why? Consistency and determination to make it work. At this stage, even if I choose not to do any marketing, I will still sell because I've been able to build my customer, have a lot of re returning customer, have referrals. This Christmas season has been so huge. Like the others have been overwhelming that we even had to turn some others down and even had to, you know, um, shift some others till January. So what am I trying to say in essence is that if you are ready to put in the work, when it's time, <laughs> you you will become overwhelmed with others. Trust me. Okay. Now, um, fact about exportation business for a newbie: you don't need a registered um, public or private limited liability to commence exportation business as a newbie without um document so if you're here and you don't have document what i'm trying to say is that it's not going to stop you from having to do your export business on a small scale if you have a registered business it's a plus for you i mean you should have a registered business if you want to be doing in containers right you want to be doing with factories companies abroad reputable company that buys in thousands of metric tons you need to have a limited liability but for those of you who are here and you are saying ah, this madam me i don't get business name or, i don't get limited liability i don't even know where i want to start from i want to let you know that you can start exporting as a personal shopper so you don't need nigeria export promotion council to start this business if you're starting on a small scale you don't need much capital to invest if you are starting at on a small scale remember i said my first export i was paid up front in fact i got my profits up front self it is that money i used to source a lot of us don't know and that's why in the mentorship program you'll be learning how to start with zero capital 
minimum capital. You can operate as a part-time. That was how I started. In fact, now I have my business. I have office in Lagos and, you know, but when I started, I had an 8 to 5 p.m. job, not 9 to 5, 8 to 5. Like you have to be in the office on or later before 8. If you come to office after 8, ah, by the time you come after 8, three times, query done day. So I had an 8 to 5. I had kids, right? I started weekends where the days I saw package and by Monday, dispatch picks up and, you know, sent to shipping company and straight to my customers. So what am I saying is, in essence, you can do this as a part-time business. I grew this business as a part I did. I did this business as a part-time business for four good years. What am I saying? Five years. Yes, five good years till I had to eventually resign and it became my full-time business. At that point, my business had grown to a stage that it's no law. It can never be a pattern because I had workers, I had staff, I had offices, warehouse and all of that. I even delved into logistics business. The My my export business actually um, helped me to launch my logistics business, international logistics business. So I could not continue with the nine to five. So yes, if you're a stay at home mom, if you are about retiring, you can start this business as a part time and then grow and make it a full time by the time you retire you already i mean you don't balance you go the end you know i say stay at home mom good for you if you want to do it as a part time we have bankers that are doing this business as a part time and they're cashing out right um categories of exportable products so we had the agricultural products like hibiscus dried split ginger cashew nuts um coffee beans, cocoa, cotton, Arabic gum, to mention but a few. They are all agricultural products, right? You can export them. There's a limit to what I can. I can't remember a lot of products, but when you think about products, uh, any product that comes to mind, you can actually export them, okay? Um, palm kernel shell, palm kernel oil, palm kernel fiber, palm oil, the demand is huge huge you can export them then processed products like um plantain flour beans flour um chili pepper grounded chili pepper ginger powder all sorts of spices acara mix ah plenty honey okay is honey a processed product honey is exportable not to all countries it's contraband to some countries actually okay so processed product product that has been processed from its original form ready for consumption in fact processed product that's where the profit is as a matter of fact that's where the profit is. And that's why you see the government is always encouraging us to go into finished product, to go into processed product. Because the truth is, if I sell ginger for 2.5 million, when I'm going to be selling my processed ginger that is already ginger powder, I can sell it for 4.5 or 5 million. That's the simple truth. So the export value chain, in the export value chain, the finished product is where the money actually is. Why do you think that countries like Netherlands will come and buy cocoa from us and sell and process it into chocolate and sell times five of that um, product that they bought from us? The price will be times five of the original product they bought in raw form. They buy raw crude oil, they process it and and triple the, the price for us and sell back to us. So what is that telling you? Processed product is where the profit is. Now, manufactured product like Indomie, milk, Milo. Milk is banned in so many countries, as a matter of fact. You see Milo, you see um, Goldie Mon, they are all exportable. Any product that is processed that comes to mind is exportable. Even you that have, um, sorry, a manufactured products like big brand Nestle, Nestle food and all of that, Olam, manufactured product that uh you know is owned by big brands they are all exportable all this maggi you can export them okay handicraft those of us who are into um fashion into bead making into headgear gaily okay you can actually export your products. I forgot to mention that in the processed food category those that are into skincare hair products 
demand is high yo remember i said we run a logistic business <laughs> demand is high yo if you're into skincare all these people that are doing organic skincare or more you go say, you go say, you go say, tire. Okay. So back to handicrafts now. So all this talking drum, I export talking drum, though you need, um, certificate from museum, art and culture to back it up. Right. We process those things. If you want to get, you want to ship all these talking drums, you know, and all this, um, uh, what's it called now? When you are doing festival, all those masquerade, you want to export them. You need a um, certificate from Ministry of Arts and Culture or Museum Center in in Nigeria. For me, I base in Lagos, so I collect from the one in Oniko. So you can go there, collect and ship those things. The demand is high. When other when we are um, Nigerians over there are doing their festivity, they always place order for this thing. Especially this festive season, I've shipped a lot to UK. Okay, so the demand is high. So if you are into painting, into artwork, you make wigs. Ah, wigs they sell. Oh, we want they sell. If they sell well, well. That's what I'm trying to say. So artworks, handicrafts. So if you are into fashion, you make menswear, women's wear. Demand is huge. Then solid minerals like lithium, iron ore, tantalite, tin, gold. To mention but if you and gemstones, gemstones they sell. I have mentees who. All they do is gemstones and they sell. I once posted for my mentee and immediately someone called from the US and they still did. That deal was huge. Imagine deal that was huge and a mentee actually came to appreciate with some, you know, money. <laughs> so solid minerals is also high in demand. So the problem now for most of us is how to get buyers, right? And in my mentorship program, I'll be sharing with us how you can get buyers for any category of, of products you are into. Okay, fact about, um, sorry, um, ways to end from exportation business. This is the cocoa of the day. <laughs> okay, personal shopping. I know you've been hearing me talk about personal shopping, personal shopping. So personal shopping means you are shopping for those who are based in, um, who are based abroad, right? A lot of Nigerians, when they travel abroad, they still yearn and crave for our indigenous Nigerian products. I'm even sure some of us who are based abroad know what I'm talking about, that you still want our indigenous Nigerian product. And that's why you're always going to either Nigerian store or Asian store that have African sessions to buy our product. Because, I mean, a lot of them cannot do without our food so the demand is high so you can be that go-to person that shop for them right you shop for them and send to them so what i do i do a lot of personal shopping but i don't shop for just one person i shop for a group there's a way i coordinate it so much so that i can decide okay this month i'm shopping for those in atlanta this month i'm shopping for those in Texas. they're sending their list i'm shopping for them how to go about it i'll be teaching that in the mentorship program okay so you can be exporting to african and asian stores or even jamaican store korea store they buy if you go to uk we have a lot of pakistan stores though their price is mostly ridiculously low but there are a lot of markets you can a lot of shops and stores there you can actually supply a lot of warehouses you can actually supply okay they need our products whether it's indomie whether it's mozina whether it's milo they are ready to buy yam flour beans flour dried crayfish palm oil honey coconut chips chin chin plantain chips or further rice or further sauce eh um dried vegetable like dried ugu dried oha dried um, okra ah dried uziza dried atamali cameroon pepper magino ah demand high you okbogo is high Okay, so you can be that go-to person that shop for these African stores in large quantity. Right now, what I do is I fill up a container. Sometimes I call one or two mentees that are ready and we fill up a container and send to these stores. Okay, so you can end by selling to African and Asian stores. You can also let um, end from export by selling to bigger market like Walmart, 
Amazon and eBay. I currently do Walmart physical stores. Okay, so you too can sell to Walmart physical stores and how to go about it will be teaching. Okay, selling to factories, food processing companies abroad in large scale. So there are people who are not interested to be doing all this um, 100 carton of Indomie or 2,000 cartons of Indomie and 3,000 carton of months. They want to deal on raw commodities like hibiscus, dry split ginger, garlic, chili pepper in each raw form. They are not interested to process their own. Is they just want to be buying and exporting abroad in container loads. Someone wants to be doing 50 containers, 20 containers, and all of that. Okay, so if you fall in that category that you have the money, you have the finance, you have what it takes, okay. Your target market should be factories and processing companies. Companies that will buy raw cashew nuts, okay, and then take it to process and resell to places like US and co and repackage and resell. Okay, your target should be factories, food processing companies abroad in large scale. If you want to do product like bitter cola, your target should be like pharmaceutical companies. If you want to do palm kernel oil, by the way, it's high in demand and is one of my best selling products for large scale exports. Your target market should be pharmaceutical companies and beauty companies that produce creams and all of that. Okay, you can sell to pharmaceuticals, right? Selling to pharmaceuticals. You can become a clearing and forwarding agent. Do you know a lot of people don't have the strength to be going around in the ports in the name of documentation? You can be that person that does all the documentation and sits with that that goods is your customer's product is onboarded into the vessel and leaves. Sit to it to pick up containers, stuff the good, monitor the inspection, monitor all the processes. <laughs> Clearing and folding agents end massively, honestly, if you know how to go about it, right? You can become a service exporter. A service exporter is somebody that renders services related to exports. Now, you, you may not be exporting, but you can have a truck that help conveys goods from farm to the ports, from farm to these bigger factories of exporters. You understand? You're a service exporter rendering services related to exports. You can be an export broker. Okay, an export broker is also a service exporter. You are like the middleman between buyers and seller. You link um um people who are looking for, for products, you link them to where they will source. And those who want to buy, you link them to sellers. Okay, so you can be an export broker, right? So I'll be teaching us how you can earn commission from both buyers and from sellers being an export broker. I'll teach you how to be an export broker, what it takes to be an export broker, how to make commission in dollars as an export broker, how to get these buyers and how to get these sellers and how to connect both of them and earn your commission in dollar. As in being an export broker means you have, you need zero capital to do export brokerage. Okay, more will be shared in the mentorship program. Now, having distributors distribute your products. I currently work with a few distributors that distribute my products. Some of us just want people that will help us distribute our products. You, you know, you have this product, but you don't want to, you don't care how to, or you don't have the strength to go searching for buyers, right? Or you just want to work with distributors. I work with distributors, okay? And what this distributor does is we send our products to them. They distribute our products and pay us. You can also work with agents on commission basis. So I also work with agents, especially for large-scale exports. And what do these agents do? Agents, I specifically tell them, oh, this is the type of contract I want. This is the type of payment terms I want. This is what I want Get me this type of buyers. And if you are able to help me get this type of buyers with this, these terms of payment, who will agree to my price? This is the commission you will get. So it's the duty and responsibility of the agent, okay? Of the agent to get you the type of buyers you want on commission. I can't count the number of times I... I I got, you know, agents and 
I'll get like three agents securing contracts for me on commission basis all at once. Then because the orders are overwhelmed, because these orders sometimes come in 500 tons, a thousand tons, and you cannot do all of them at the same time. You have to turn down some of this offer and focus with one agent per time. So is this what you want? Do you want to work with agent that secures large scale contract for you? Do you want to work with distributors that will be distributing you that you, you have farm? You have cassava floor and we have people in Belgium that are ready to distribute your products. You can look for these people and they can distribute your product for you. Distributors are even looking for products to distribute and you are here. Ah, this is your time or you must export whether devil likes it or not. In my mentorship program, I'll be demystifying the whole process. Okay. So how to start exporting? Like in the beginning, I said you need access to internet and phone. Your buyer is here, okay? Uh, sorry, your buyer is there, out there, abroad, outside your country, outside your location. And you, yourself, you want to sell, but you don't want to sell locally now. I mean, you want to, you know, FX now. If you check very well, the profit is even in that FX, right? So you want to sell your products abroad. How do you get them? Are you going to transport yourself and travel to Belgium or transport yourself to Netherlands? Or you want to transport, even when you transport yourself, get visa, do all the old rigorous process and get there. How many stores can you visit? How many companies? How many factories? How many warehouses can you visit in the whole of that country? It is capital intensive, Seth. But with internet, you can reach the number of buyers. But in fact, the buyers will be the ones seeing you and contacting you. Okay, so you need access to internet and phone. So please get a good phone. <laughs> Or at least a phone that even has internet, good internet, so that you can communicate with your buyers, you can negotiate, you can sign contracts, you know. Uh -huh. So one of the ways I'm going to be teaching just one method of getting buyers, a lot of ways to get buyers. And in my mentorship class, I'll be simplifying and sharing with you the easiest. But for this class, I will be sharing just one method. Okay, which is simple and anybody can try it. Okay, so you can go online and search for buyers for your products. Brother, sister, Google now your friend, right? Okay, so you go online and search for contact or buyers of your products. So for example, you deal in palm canal shell, right? So what are you going to do? You simply type countries that have high demand for your palm canal shells and then it will be showing you different countries that has high demand for your palm canal shell the next thing you want to do is you search for you go to, you target that country and go on that same google that is your friend and 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 type um um buyers of palm canal shell in that country you can even narrow your search to locations take for instance us you can say contact of palm canal shell in new jersey contact of palm canal shell in colorado contact of palm canal shell in denver contact of palm canal shell in how i narrow down your search and then it brings contact of shop stores companies factories pharmaceutical what have you okay and then you now send them proposal in that proposal you introduce yourself who you are what you do okay your supply capacity your delivery time your preferred mode of payment how you can supply in in large quantity how your product is organic no additive no preservative 100 percent organic okay so you negotiate with the buyer send proposal and if they are set you send quotation and before you know it contract is signed and once the contract is signed you ship to your buyer's destination okay so even in that contract there'll be an agreed mode of payment okay so all this will be demystified in the mentorship program okay but this is the summary right you can also join import and export groups on facebook and advertise there import export groups on facebook and advertising you can also run adverts to get your buyers for your product you target the country that has high demand for your product you run adverts to get buyers for your product you can also watch youtube to, to you can also go on youtube to watch videos on how to get started right you can also start by yourself without any support leveraging on materials online to learn how to start exporting and 
you also have the option to choose and to decide to get a mentor who is seasoned in the business and actually exports and has access to a community of exporters and markets that makes you to start exporting faster. See, eh? you can decide to choose the long route, which is trying to figure it by yourself, trying to figure, doing trial and error till you get there. You will get there, right? You will get to export, sure but it will take you a long time. But if you have a mentor that, is, that has made mistakes and learned from her mistake, that has been exporting, that have access to different markets, that even now co-own a store and is looking at establishing more store, okay, in other country, it will make this whole export journey shorter. Trust me, there is nothing as having somebody who will teach you all the trade secrets. Someone you can assess anytime, any day. Like you have challenge, you can easily reach. It makes your whole journey shorter. It makes you to um, avoid a lot of mistakes as a newbie. It makes your learning curve shorter. So instead of you trying to figure it all out, how to do this, how to do it, and when you make mistakes, you have nobody to call right it's better to get a mentor a coach an experienced person someone who does this business not teach emphasis on doors has an office has shop has markets okay it's better you learn from them so right now i want to introduce you to my community okay we currently have a community of past students with over 400 members who currently export and sell to different markets individually and as a group to african store some of them are personal shoppers when i say personal shoppers some of these personal shoppers they ship in container remember i said the type of personal shopping we do is not the one that you sell uh, 200,000 to this person today you can be doing personal shopping but in container load right so those are the kind of export they do through air and sea leveraging on what was taught in the course of the training the testimonials is animals like there's nobody who passed through my mentorship program that don't come back to say thank you at least the success to over 50 percent of my students are currently exporting most of them get their first buyer even before the training is over now you can become part of this community of exporters because there's nothing as having a community that when you hook you you can come to the community when you secure a contract and you don't know what you can share and you know before you know you have people collaborating and pulling these large scale deals off there's nothing as community okay um there's nothing as good as having a community you you can connect with okay the name of our community is chimat exporters right so about my community, we share vital information regarding export deals. So what this means is that every now and then, like I said, there are deals I get and it's overwhelming because I'm currently doing this. I cannot do all the deals. I share when I have an extra, like this contract is coming, that contract is coming. And I know ah, I'm already handling this a lot instead of me to take all the contract because of Oju Kokoro and not deliver well. Okay. It's best to share and then have people who are interested pull that deal off so you get access to this kind of information and even mentees every now and then oh i got a contract they want a um, solid mineral so so please so can can i team up is there anybody interested or is there anyone that wants to do this you know those are the kind of things you see in this community and then we share grants opportunities i've been privileged to assess a lot of grants from any pc from different organizations for my export business i've been able to attend a lot of accelerations programs that have moved my business to a lot of they have taken my business from where it is now to a whole new level right and this can actually be you in this community we share acceleration program regarding exports agro business processing and packaging we share grants opportunities and export deals i know you love it who doesn't want to be in this kind of community okay where you motivate each and every uh, everybody motivates each other because i mean everybody is busy exporting packaging and all of that okay we share ideas with each other and team up when necessary to do large scale deals you get the opportunity to attend important conferences trade show and exhibition that will accelerate your export business so every now and then we are invited to come attend trade show where we take our product to the international markets have access to markets and we travel abroad 
you know i'm sure you'll be interested in 2024 we we intend going to up to four different countries for trade conferences trade show exhibitions with our products market our products get to interact with potential buyers of both large and small scale trust me you want to be in this type of community where you have opportunity to travel i mean when I say opportunity, I mean we share opportunities like this. And if you're interested, you can key in to travel for this kind of conferences. Now, people that join my community, if you are here and you're like, can I do this business? If you're a student, okay, you can join and start on a small scale part-time. You can be doing this business uh, as a part-time business, like the weekends, your Saturday, Sundays for sourcing, packaging, and shipping okay stay at home mothers you can actually pull this off okay you even have the time when your kids have gone to school you can use it to process this food stuff package them and ship to your customers abroad for those who stay outside lagos there are many logistic companies in your state for those in abuja there are logistic companies those in portaco there are logistic companies those in lagos and even if there are no logistic companies in your location you can send to lagos our dispatch rider picks it and then deliver to any logistic company that will ship it finally to your customers in the mentorship class i'm going to be sharing um i'm going to be sharing contacts of farmers logistic companies local logistic company that can pick up and deliver to um, shipping company that ships abroad contact of shipping company for both sea and air okay this business is also for retirees and pensioners so if you are here you're a pensioner or you are retired and you're looking for what to do as a part-time this business can be for you my dad is retired my mom is retired and trust me they end off of exports in their in our house my parents house they have a a room dedicated for packaging of these products and then a dispatch comes pick up and send to shipping company and ship for them of course we run a shipping company so we are the ones that ship for them okay so if you're a businessman or a businesswoman that wants an extra source of income you can actually do this export business so i mean anybody can do this business either on a part-time or small or, or full-time I started as part-time, but my business grew beyond part-time. And so I run my export business as a full-time. This can be you. So if you are working, currently working, and you are looking for business, you can do that. So that in the next three, four years, you can be fully independent. You can start from here. Okay. You can start from here. Right now, my business has grown. We have staffs in Lagos and outside Lagos. Okay. And we now work with people abroad who co own and manage our stores abroad. So you can do this. You can start. You can start. I was working and my take home was not taking me home. Now I had to quit and focus on my business. This could be you. Okay. Okay. So these are testimonials from the last batch of my mentee. So one is saying, my goods is on its way to US. I so much appreciate and thank you for the opportunity. Okay, this one said my first job after the training. Um, another one said, uh, I posted and ran ad, got in a customer personal shopping in US. I mean, the testimonials are enormous, trust me. Okay, another one is saying that, um, I was not surprised when I joined the group person, only see that, uh, C has a second admin. She's not just good at what she does. She's passionate about you achieving success. Like the mentorship program, we have live session question and answer where you get to ask me questions directly. We get to interact. I get to, in fact, there's a practical phase of the training where you get to practicalize because the training comes, the mentorship program comes with assignments. You have to be doing your assignment and submitting, and then we get to have a live session where I review your progress, tell you the next step. Okay. So the testimonial, if you are reading through your screen, I'm sure you are going to be seeing testimonials from those who have attended our training. Okay. Thank you, Madam Joy, for all you do. I want to drop off my goods for shipping in Ibadan. Okay, so a lot of testimonials. Another one said I was privileged to be selected by 50 vendors. So there was a time we invited distributors and distributors of take uh, products from my mentees. So you can see on your screen mentees who benefited from such um, um, distributors just by attending our training. Okay. 
So um, a lot of testimonials, a lot of testimonials, okay? Even our one of the distributors I used was um, announcing in the group, if you can read, that the next shipment is in so-so period of time, you know? So I'll be teaching you how to get distributors for your products, how to get agents for your products. So if you are still seeing on the screen, someone said, I got five tons of melon seed to UK, Okay just by attending my export training. So it's amazing what you can achieve. Another one said, Madam Jai, I can't thank you enough. And this God will surely bless you. She got an order to ship like it's her first order. Okay. After attending my training, another one said, um, she got an order in metric ton and all of that, you know, Ah, testimonials for go in the in the platform. I'll be sharing more testimonials of mentees who are actually exporting real time mentees. Okay, so there is no limit to what you can do. Really, there is no limit. See a mentee who actually got a deal of um, what is it again? Twenty feet container, twenty tons per container shipments. Okay, and this contract was actually a one year contract, right? So you can pull this off. You can actually do this. You can actually do this. Another one said, I got a contract to supply one metric ton of garlic to Pakistan and he's paying 40% advance. 40% advance. 40%. Another one got 1,200 tons of dry split ginger to USC. Amazing, right? This can actually be you. Okay, so what do you need to know? What you need to know about joining my community? Now, this is business, okay? You need to be patient and ready to learn. You need to implement all the assignments I'm going to be sharing because the assignment helps you to practicalize, right? It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not a Ponzi scheme. It's pure business, okay? I'm not telling you to come and invest. Out. No, no, no. You are going to learn how to get bias by yourself, how to get bias by yourself and how to, you know, collect your money. Safe method of collecting money, both for small scale, large scale, you know, I'll be teaching all of that. The different method of payment for both small and large scale. There are two different payments method if you are doing um, small or large scale. So I'll be sharing, which is not a get rich quick, it's pure business, okay? readiness to implement everything you are taught trust me if you can be ready if you are ready to implement everything i would teach before the class and you get your first buyer and i am not bluffing before the class and you get your first buyer okay what will you be learning from the class one you'll be learning how to package and brand your product especially for those of us whose target market is african shop and store okay i would teach you how to brand your product how to package your product fits for the international market i'll teach you how to export on a budget I'll teach you how you can start this business without documents, without certificates, without license for those who want to start on a budget. But for those who already have their registered business and they are ready to export on a large scale, do formal exports, I will also be teaching you. But please, I always encourage you, as you scale in your business, you need to register your business because, I mean, there are some kind buyers you will get. If you don't have a registered business, nothing for you. So, but, I mean, just for you to start somewhere, I will always tell you, start somewhere. You don't need documents to start. And you don't need NAVDAC to export. I'm saying it again. You don't need NAVDAC to export. So don't worry about NAVDAC. You are going to another country. That country has their requirements. They care less about your NAVDAC. They care more about you meeting their standard. So don't worry about NAVDAC. I'll be telling, I'll be teaching tested and proven ways to get buyers that pays you in foreign currency even before the good leaves the country's port of loading. Four secured ways of receiving payment from buyers. I'm sure you want to know how you can receive your payment. Safe way, no stories. I have been collecting my payments in advance before my goods get to buyer. Hot selling exportable product you can consider exporting and countries with highest demand for such products. I also teach you how to find out countries that have high demand for your products, how to get contacts and access to buyers in any country of your choice that begs you for your products. Check them now. How do you get buyers? I'll be teaching you how to assess any buyers. If you're, if you're 
aim is to sell to Oman, Qatar, Gulf countries. I will teach you how to get, how to reach those big, big companies that buy lithium, that buy solid minerals, that buy gemstones for jewelries, okay? That buy food stuff, a goosey or bono, crayfish, whatever, how you can reach them in large quantity, okay? So how to get major buyers of thousands of metric ton of different products coming after you? This is for those who have registered business, who have the fund, the capital, or who are ready, who doesn't want to be doing small, small export, they want to do raw commodities. I will teach you how to get buyers that all they want to do is buy in large quantity. This kind of people are usually company and factory owners abroad or processing company who buy to reprocess and resell as finished products. I will teach how to easily secure export contract through secrets that will be revealed in our training, how to draft winning export proposal. I'll be sharing templates. I'll be sharing my own proposal. So you see how I share, uh, how I draft my proposal that I have been able to use to secure a lot of contracts and sample of export proposal for different products you can edit and use to secure new buyers and export orders. A proven so three proven ways to earn massively from export business. How to fix price for your export product to fit international market price. Secret of how to source and have contact. Access to farmers or manufacturers of different products of cheapest agro products and mineral resources. The truth is, if you want to stay competitive in the export business, if you want your price, if you want to compete with other um, 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 brands abroad, okay, you have to source. It start from where you are sourcing. So I'll be teaching and sharing a few contacts of farmers. I have their contact I've worked with or manufacturers of different products that you can buy and eliminate as much middlemen as possible so that you can make more profit, so that you can compete effectively with the international market price. Okay. How to earn as an export broker and end massive commission, learn how to set up your export blog for yourself, by yourself, gain visibility with profit, simple techniques to send buyers to your blog to give them serious impression that you're a serious seller and they can buy from you. Okay. So there's a lot. There's a whole lot you're going to be learning in this training. I'll be giving you access to 20 contacts of shipping company that you can export with and then um, over sorry, other businesses you can do al alongside exportation or related to exportation like freight forwarding, haulaging, trucking, logistics, okay? And site to register your business that gives you legit buyers of your products, right? There's so much to learn in this training, okay? So um, another thing I want us to know is that um, there's something I want us to oh. The training will be for five days with two days practical session. So the total duration of the training will be for seven days. Okay, five days intensive trainings. Every single day you have an assignment. So the assignment is geared towards making you to get your first buyer before the seventh day. And then the two remaining two days is going to be a virtual practical session. So the, even the um, pa um, practical session is going to be online. Like we'll have a live session and I'll monitor your progress, ask you how far, tell you what next to do. You show me your products, what you've done or what you intend doing. So as in you get to start buying some um, tools or whatever, you know, I'm going to be sharing each day comes with assignment. Then the remaining two days will be a practical session where you actually get to practicalize what has been taught. Okay, so we'll meet virtually to monitor your progress and all of that. So the entire duration of the training is going to be seven days. Five days intensive training, two days practical session. Training is going to be hosted on Telegram and a question and answer group will be on WhatsApp. Okay, okay, so with Telegram, you can assess the training whenever at your pace, okay? Training can be assessed from any part of the world. So if you're in US, if you're in Kafanchan, Calabar, Delta, Imo, or wherever you are, you can assess the training, okay? Like I said, the training is going to be in two stages, five days intensive training, two-day practical session to help us practicalize what we've been taught so far. Of course, I'm going to be having a live session with us 
so that on the two days so that you get to see me you get to ask me whatever question i get to monitor your progress tell you the next step tell you the next action tell you the next thing to do okay um yes so uh i mean my slide okay so training time and day to be communicated in the group and it's going to run for five days and um after that five days you're expected to launch your export business you're expected to start exporting you're expected to know how to get buyers and after that five days honestly you should start exporting that's the truth if you are going to implement everything that will be taught in the course of the training okay so it's going to include live session video training ebook and of course a question and answer group that is permanently opened and after the training you are moved to our community of exporters where you get to benefit as a community member okay the training is worth over a hundred thousand but guess what that's not what we'll be paying today even if the fee is fifty thousand it's still fair and that's because of the value you benefit from this training but guess what you would be paying fifty thousand you are definitely not going to be paying thirty thousand but the first 25 persons to pay tonight to pay today will assess it at twenty thousand this is not fake scarcity. Please take note. Once 25 persons have paid, training goes to 30,000. Trust me, even the 30,000 is at giveaway price. My export training is not the regular export training because after the training, the training is going to be intense. <laughs> by the time you are done with assignments, <laughs> by fire by force, you get bias. That's the truth because... I it's me. I'll be bearing all, all my secret, all my strategy, every single thing I've done that have made me to start exporting, get buyers on a regular. Okay, so even 30000 is at a giveaway price. It's giveaway because I know how much others charge. So, but I am not charging all that. But trust me, you'll get to export. No bluff at all in that training. So for the first 25 persons, it's 20000 after which price goes to 30000 Okay, so um, if you are interested in assessing the mentorship program that guarantees you to start exporting, the account details is here. So you make your payments and then you send your proof to the WhatsApp group. I'm sure you belong to a WhatsApp group. If you don't belong to a WhatsApp group, please, there's a phone number on the screen, 706-327-7011, 706 You send your proof of payment there and we will add you to the training. Training is commencing very, very soon and trust me, you do not want to miss it. So if you know that you want to start exporting, come this january you want to launch your export business between december ending and january trust me you do not want to miss this class so if you know you want to start exporting latest by january to african shops stores are brought to companies and factory and earn in foreign currency you can make your payments now 20,000 for the first 25 persons and after we have 25 persons the price goes to 30,000 so i wish you success in this business and trust me by the time you are done by the time you are done with this training you are going to start your first export it's a promise okay thank you very much god bless you so please send your proof of payment to the group or to this number on your screen so that you can get started with the training thank you